Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Day one of La Liga Team of the Season so far came out today. We got a pretty nice team with very juiced up stati statistics and card items in this game with some interesting position changes and crazy price movements that I want to talk about today. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that went on on the market because of objectives, because of the, the packs that were opened, and just with these new Team of the Season cards, and what happened with those. So I do want to talk about that uh, stuff that happened today and talk about these new cards. And we're going to go to Footbin to talk about that first because a lot of people have been asking me right now, hey, they've already been asking me, when do I want to buy these cards? And again, if you want to try one for Weekend League and you're okay maybe with taking a bit of a loss, um, I would say go pick up the card, just go play with it, and then sell it uh, decently soon. We're going to talk about a few things today about just general trends that we saw last week during prem tots and how those could be the same could we see those again this week with la liga um some of the the trends just kind of depend on the hype right i don't feel like these cards are as hyped up as last week for the entire game right i think a lot of people uh still are going to be using these cards in their squads uh, and that's just kind of be the way it is but there are some gems in the La Liga team this season that I do want to talk about. So again, today, what happened with these prices is they kind of were at a level during lighting rounds. Um, you know, they were just kind of like here, right? They were just kind of chilling, you know? Uh, Suarez is a great example, right? Suarez was kind of chilling around 2 million coins during lighting rounds. He started off around 2 mil, right? He went under 2 mil for a bit, and then he popped back up. He was actually selling at 2.15. I was watching his card pretty close. He was selling at 2.15 for a moment. On the playstation and then for the past few hours after that he has absolutely crashed in price and that has happened to all of these cards tonight as well benzema was 1.4 million coins he was 1.1 griezmann was 1.3 he was 1 mil flat cruz was extinct at 380,000 coins got the price range update and went down all the way to 250 he's back up a bit um Fakir was a mil. He went down to 680, now back to 740. Varane was 2.5 mil at the start of the day. He's 175. Ramos was like high one point something mil. Carvel Hall was 500k. Like these cards have dropped off a ton. Carlos was extinct. This card right here was extinct at 1.2 million coins and got a price range update to 2 mil. Went down to 850, then went back up. He was 850. He went back up to 9. 50 and it's now kind of back down to 880. I don't know, man. These cards dumped in price later on in today. A lot of people lost coins today if they wanted to buy these cards early on. Some of them have bounced back again, like we talked about with Cruz, with Bakir, Carvel Hall. I bought um, nine of them on my transfer list at 325,000 coins a piece. So I'm making a little bit of money on those. Um, but I think these guys are going to rise a little bit into the morning. Some of them have already rebounded, though. Um, so I'm not really saying that this is as an investment. But I do think there are some people that are going to rise up. The ones that are the most hyped that people want to try out, which I would say would be like Suarez, Benzema, Griezmann. I even think Varane, Marvel Hall could rise a little bit more. Ramos should rise up a little bit. Um, but I do want to, I want to talk about this Ramos card because this card dropped off a ton today. And I think I know the reason why, right? There are three insane center backs that are a part of this promo, right? Um, Varane. Uh, Ramos and Diego Carlos. Both all of these center backs are really insane. I have used Diego Carlos in weekend league for a few games. This guy is fantastic. He's really, really good. Um, it's like his Europa League card, but of course, even better. He's really good in game. But the reason I think a lot of people don't have this Ramos card and this guy's price keeps dropping is because so many people did the player moments uh, SBC for Ramos that I don't think they want him. I don't think they want this Ramos, the new one, because they've done this one. Even though this Ramos has great statistics, uh, mental card, to be honest, I don't think many people want this card, or as many do, because they have this SBC, which is a very endgame card, which they're used to playing with now, because this SBC has been out for a couple months. Uh, I think there's a lot of people in FIFA. I came up against this card twice tonight in Foot Champions already. That's why I think this 96 Ramos might not be the absolute highest and have the most demand so that's an interesting kind of um you know concept and scenario with the ramos card uh and that's why I partially i think is due to why his price is going down so much but uh this team in general just does not have the same hype that premier league did uh it just it's not going to have the same hype because 
of just it's league La Liga. Yes, there's Barcelona. Yes, there's Real Madrid um, players in this La Liga team of the season. But for whatever reason, it just doesn't seem to me like these guys have that much hype. The stat upgrades are massive, right? This Benzema card looks ridiculous. Four star, four star. The work rates aren't the best. 99 finishing though with 97 strength. This is team of the season, man. And again, a lot of even the Prem cards dropped a lot today. Um, some of the Prem cards dropped a decent amount. Mane was down. Van Dyke was the one that took the biggest hit because um, this guy was a incredible, like stood out from the rest of all the other center backs that were out um, from team of the season and just out in the game. This guy is still dropping. He's 2-5 flat. 2-5 flat right now for Van Dyke. Um, this 99 rated Van Dyke center back card, he's dropped almost 500k today because of the three insane cards, Ramos, Varane, and Diego Carlos that have come out, just kind of challenging him for another top spot as one of the premier center backs in this game. Um, I think this weekend's sell-off with the amount of market drop that we saw today on these Tots cards, for whatever reason, after the first couple lightning rounds, um, the stuff, everything, literally all of these cards, they tanked. They literally tanked on the market. And that kind of tells me uh, that either people don't want to spend their coins because they're just playing with their their new TOTS Premier League cards that they just got, um, or they lost a lot of coins somewhere along the line from doing SBCs. And I know EA drained a ton of coins over this past week with the SBCs that they put out. So that could be part of it. I think there's going to be a pretty heavy weekend they sell off this weekend. Um, so if you have cards that you want to get out of that you're trying to flip or stuff, I think I would get out of them today, this morning, um, in FIFA. Like as you wake up this morning, if you're in the UK on Saturday, I think you might see the market push up a little bit as people are grinding champions, uh, in the first couple hours of the morning in the midday. And then in the afternoon, UK time, three to four hours before the content drop, uh, I think you might see a decline in some of these prices again, because that's what happened last week with a lot of the team of the season Premier League cards is, uh, especially with the top tier guys. I don't know if you remember last week, but with De Bruyne, he was like 4.3, 4.4 million Friday night into Saturday. De Bruyne ended up being 3.9, like 3.9 flat right before lightning rounds on Saturday because people were panic selling because they thought he was going to get packed a bunch during lightning rounds. Well, then he didn't get packed a bunch because it's the most rare card in the game pretty much uh, out of the new team of the seasons. And his price went shooting right back up to 4.2 million. So... Watch for some of that today with some of the high tier cards in the La Liga, right? This Suarez, man, this one interests me so much because it's a really usable Suarez with the pace and, and the upgrades that he got. Um, this guy was insta-selling at 2 million coins earlier today, and now nobody wants to buy him at 1.5. He is under 1.5 million, which is crazy to me. And that just shows me again that a lot of people are just losing more and more cards and they don't want to buy these new cards. Could they rise up into the morning? I do think it's possible you see a rise in some of these into the morning again, like I mentioned. Um, but it's got to be a card that you've already seen rise a little bit earlier today. Earlier today, between like this, the second and third lightning rounds, I watched Carva Hall go from 410k to 450k in a matter of minutes. That was the main reason for me going out on the market tonight and pulling the trigger uh, on this card at 325. Um, that was the main reason that I went out and I pulled the trigger on this guy at that price because of the rebound that I had already seen earlier in that day. It looks like he is not currently 350. There's a Carva Hall at 362, right? So if you look at some of these cards, they are pretty rare, right? Like Carva Hall at 370. How many pages does he have? He's got a couple pages at 370, which is interesting. Um, but a lot of these at 370, right? Let's go to 300. So we, what, we had like three pages there. Three pages of supply at 370. Let's go to 400, I mean. And we only have one extra page of supply at uh, another 30K up in price. That's just really, really interesting to me. It just seems like a lot of people keep selling these or EA is putting them on the market for whatever reason. So um, I think there's, these are going to go lower today, though. So, you know, they just don't carry the hype that a lot of cards have. The most hype ones from the set are Diego Carlos, I think, uh, Varane for a high tier center back, and then maybe, maybe De Young. Uh, maybe De Young, I guess. Uh, but the interesting thing about De Young is if you have De Young's team of the year card, I would please, I would very nicely recommend to you to sell this card uh, before the weekend is up because he is back down. He was 1-5 earlier today, 
this team of the season, DeYoung, is going to only... Oh my gosh, one two five. Yeah, he's dropping a lot now. Yeah, he's dropping a lot now. This team of the season, DeYoung card, is probably going to be under a million coins uh, by the time the weekend is over. By the time the weekend is over, this team of the season, the new DeYoung... Wow, what the heck, man? He's 1.1... He's 1.085 right now. This guy's definitely going to be under a million coins. It's a little bit less of a card than the team of the year. But these team of the seasons, again, are just so much more supplied and so much more available to people on the market. EA ups their pack weight and stuff. So they're a lot easier to get and that makes them be cheaper on the market and that drops their other prices. Think of like team of the season Robbo and how it dropped team of the year Robbo's price from last week as well. Um, that was a big thing. Let's talk about the content from today as well. Stuff that happened on foot today. Saul, center mid card. This card is a dub i think if you're running a la liga side and you need a box-to-box -box center midfielder this guy can do it all high high work rates four star weak foot um he's even got good shooting stats uh but this guy is going to be a very good card 98 stamina i think i might throw a bit of uh if you can boost his aggression and his strength and de defending i might throw i don't know what i can anchor on him if you're going to play him at cdm maybe but this is a really good looking card great passing stats too great for a box-to-box -box center mid uh, so if you run a La Liga side, that's a great SBC that you could do. And then we got really good, like we got really good SBC value today and really good objective values as well. This Re Regulon, Regulon left back. This card is, is actually really insane. Uh, and it doesn't take that much to do a score and assist in eight separate rivals wins using a La Liga player with minimum 86 pace. And from what I'm hearing, you can actually complete some of this guy this Regulon card, and some of Tots SF Mariano, the Moments card, at the same time. Uh, some of these guys uh, in Rivals, because it says or Rivals for a lot of these. So you can actually kind of do both of these at the same time if you want to get two cards, whether you're just getting one for SBC fodder and one for a usable team card or what. But this card does look really, really good in game. So I think a lot of people are going to go out and grind that one, um, which is interesting. And then, of course, a lot of us and some of you guys I talked about yesterday leading into the panic. Um, what was the stuff that really rose today and what was the stuff that got hit? Now, of course, this is the gamble you take that, you know, it, we don't always talk about it, but this is the gamble that you take when you're buying out of pack special cards before a promo. All it takes for EA is to drop one SBC. We saw this last week with if you bought Premier League special midfielders, right? And Diddy came out on the first day. You know, Headliner Wijnaldum didn't really go up much. Uh, um, Shapeshifter Trent didn't go up much. Today, they brought out a left-back La Liga card in objectives. It was very doable, very good card that a lot of people could just very easily go and get. This Renan Lodi card, a lot of people lost coins on him today uh, because he he went down a bunch. He, he did go down a bunch. And a lot of other out-of-pack special cards dropped today just because a team of the season kind of took its place, right? Like, the stuff that went up today was strikers, right? Um, this was a card that I looked at on my video yesterday. I think I mentioned Jao Felix, uh, in one of my videos, right? This guy went up a lot today in price. And that was basically because if you look at this team, wow, he's down again, man. What? These cards are fluctuating like crazy. Cause this guy was up above 1 million coins. He's like one, almost to 1.1 at one point earlier today. This Jao Felix was, um, but if you, if you look at this team, right? This is what I talked about in one of my videos earlier this week as well. You have to look for the weaknesses. If you're going to try to invest on that day of when they come out, you kind of almost have to wait to make the best investment until you see what comes out objective-wise. And then you go on the market and look for the panic right away as well. The strikers that are in this team, there's no budget striker, right? So Jao Felix went up and then came back down. But guys like Inaki Williams, uh, his inform card and I think his man of the match card, budget Spanish strikers today for you know the lower tier end of the market which there's not a lot of those on the game if we would go take a look but both the strikers that are in this new team right we have we have three strikers in total one lucas perez who is just 70k not that great looking card and you have a 1 million coin striker and a 1.5 million coin striker there's no like where's your 300k striker right there's no like range in there so a lot of the spanish strikers rose today because that was kind of a position uh, from the league that came out for Tots today, La Liga, that was kind of lacking in the new squad, right? So if we look at La Liga strikers, what do we have here, right? Let's sort by price. Let us sort by price, high to low 
on these strikers. Uh, Vinicius Jr. is 366K, so he's about the same price. He didn't move that much. Eden Hazard was 880. He's up some. Um, Antoine Griezmann, this card went up. And again, some of the stuff is still starting to drop off already. But Antoine Griezmann, I bought a once to watch Griezmann today uh, at... Um, I bought him at 220 and I sold him for 237 I think it was, it was. So a little bit of profit there. But this Anaki card went up. This Anaki card went up. Again, it was the strikers that kind of went up today. Um, and then just because of the Griezmann position change as well, that created some interesting market movements. But again, I know you guys might be taking some losses on coins. I'm a bit afraid that stuff continues to drop lower after this weekend because a lot of coins were lost this week. A lot of people uh, lost coins from doing you know tons and tons of upgrade packs during Premier League. And now they're rocking with those guys and their squads and they don't want to go out and change up their entire team to go um, spend coins on that and, you know, replace those new cards that they do have. So that was kind of an interesting thing. I would try to get your coins again before the uh, the weekly sell-off starts and maybe you see a bit of a rise this morning in the market as it goes up. Last thing I want to talk about, all right? We're going back to flipping for this one. SBC Fodder. Some of these 84s are at all-time lows. I was looking at um, I was looking at Ozil today on stream. Ozil was 1.8k. Ozil has never been under 2,000 coins, uh, according to Footbin, the entirety of FIFA. Right? What about Julian Brandt, an 84 rated card with really good links? He's under 2,000 coins. Has he ever been there this year? No. He had 2.6k. That's his lowest recorded Footbin price. Um, but. SBC fodder around the board is so cheap right now. It is club stock territory, absolutely. And I wouldn't even wait on this. You could say, hey, I'm going to wait till lighting rounds to do this. I wouldn't even wait on it, man. I really would not even wait on it. Go out, buy some of these, put them in your club. Put a few on the transfer list if you want to. There's going to be more SBCs that come out. Even the 89s are getting low, man. Allison, 36K. Kane, 37K. Where's my boy? Uh, Busquets, 41. So he's still a bit high. Chiellini's 39. That's getting low. 88s are getting low. It's 27, 28K. 87s are pretty low today. Mertens is 20,000 coins, right? These are really, really low, in my opinion, for a lot of these cards at the moment uh, from the 89s and below. It is club stock time for those cards. I do think we'll get another player SBC today. Um, not sure who it's going to be or how hype it's going to be, but that's going to be something to look out for. Uh, and of course, we have people already on this game that are going out and buying La Liga rare golds. La Liga rare golds right now are like a thousand coins plus a piece. I think this is just ridiculous. I cannot believe that La Liga rare golds held their prices today during lightning rounds. During lightning rounds, people were buying these cards up over a thousand coins to prepare for the upgrade packs that are, you know, supposed to come as the same they were last week, right? This is my problem with that, all right? If you want to get La Liga rare golds, that's fine. Get them on bid during lightning rounds. Try to get them under a thousand coins if you can. And I would just club stock. I don't think I would go on a sign because, again, if you're going to pay 30,000 coins per upgrade pack like people were doing last week for this set of team of the season cards, I know Messi is in there, but I don't understand why you would pay that many coins for upgrade packs. I just think it's stupid paying that many coins for rares. And we're not even guaranteed to get the same pack that we got on last monday with upgrades all it could take is for ea to drop an 81 plus double upgrade they could drop a totally different pack this week and screw all those people out of coins who bought la liga rares for over a thousand coins that's why i'm saying if you want some la liga rares just stock the club get them on bid during lightning rounds today or on sunday for the upgrades that would come on monday that's my recommendation for you just because i think it's pretty dumb to be spending that many coins on rares um especially without that pack knowing that that pack is going to come out again. So um, maybe EA changed it up this week with the upgrade packs. I'm going to wait and see. Uh, and I'm not going to pay. I'm, you're never going to see me paying 3,000 coins for rare golds. That's just not me. I'm not going to be paying 3K for rare golds. I'm not going to do it. Don't want to. Uh, I'll pay 1.5K when they drop the good upgrade SBC, which they drop on Thursday, two days ago for the Prem. And uh, I packed, uh, I went from five, Team of the Season packed to 13. And I'll end this video off by saying that EA has, I think, red listed my account and just kind of take you guys through what has happened in the past few days if you haven't been uh, in the live streams. Um, during Premier League Team of the Season, I got pack pulls that were just ridiculous, man. I, my pack luck was cracked. I got Sun from an upgrade pack. 
I got Aguero late last night from an upgrade pack. Richarlison was my guaranteed. I've got Trent twice. I packed Rashford twice. I packed Henderson. I packed Adama Traore twice or three times. I got Allison twice. Um, and then from a middle icon last night, I packed Cruyff, which by the way, this card is a fraud. At least he has not grown onto me yet. I do not like this Cruyff card as of yet. I honestly am thinking about playing Rashford or Foot Birthday Rashford, either of these two cards, instead of this Cruyff, because this Cruyff has not done it for me. Uh, I was playing him at striker, but Son and even Richarlison, this guy is cracked, by the way, he finishes everything, um, and so is Aguero. But that's an update on my account. I will still go hard this week for La Liga team of the season because I have an untradeable Messi, so I feel like that's inc that increases my luck and possibility for a team of the season Messi. So I'm going to do upgrade packs this week for sure, but I'm definitely not going to do the ones that are going to cost the rares 3K. Um, I'll stock my club today. I'll get on some bids. Or La Liga rare golds, but that's I, I'm just talking about it, boys. I'm just trying to prepare you, all right, and talk about it differently because who says EA is going to even drop the same upgrades? They very well might. They very well might. But again, to recap, for the market today, a lot of this stuff was crazy. A lot of people lost coins. People have less coins than they had before because of upgrade packs. And I think you might see a little bit of a rise this morning on on Saturday, and that's a chance for us to maybe get some cards out. And then after that, I do think it's going to go down Saturday night into Sunday, and it could get kind of ugly on Sunday, I think, with Premier League Tots cards, all right? I know a lot of you guys have these. If you're making profit, I would take it. I think these guys are going to drop after the sell-off as well because people need coins during the week to do things. And once Monday rolls around, the only thing that anybody ever cares about is the guaranteed Tots SBC, which we will be looking out for and talking about with the new Tots La Liga cards as well. So that's a long market talk video today. Talking about La Liga Tots. If you enjoyed the video today, smash your thumbs up on it. If you com if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys later in a new video tomorrow. Peace out.